Now there's a place to put one mic under a grand piano and get it as good a piano sound out of a $80,000 piano like this as you're going to get with one mic. It goes underneath the piano. So looking underneath the piano, we've got this thing like this, and it goes like this, and it goes like that. And then there's this great big beam right here that sets up a bunch of beams that go this way. Now right under here, about an inch under the soundboard, you just get an SM58, put it under there, it goes in, because the beams are come down this far, it goes right inside a little pocket in there, and it's right towards the V up in there. You put that SM58, and you get a great, get the whole piano from the bottom to top, and even sound, nice, good enough sound, especially if it's like a, 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 it's not the focus instrument. It's not a jazz trio where the piano is going to do all the featuring. Then you want condensers and you want the strings on top and you want everything. I would take, I would take three. I would take it from the bottom and the strings on top too because the piano is now the feature instrument. But if it's a big band and the piano is like one of the rhythm section, well, you don't need that crisp wonderfulness. You grab that real good sound you get underneath the piano, make it easy, and the mic is protected from all the other sounds in the room. And you got more isolation out of the piano at the same time that you're, you know, being efficient. And also you throw it on one track. You save the track. Mm -hmm.